More than a year after they were slapped with murder and manslaughter convictions, four men have been sentenced for the death of British sailor Roger Pratt. The 62-year-old was killed in January 2014 when the intruders boarded his vessel, which was anchored near the town of Viewfort. The highly publicized trial concluded last year after weeks of riveting testimony from witnesses, which included medical experts, law enforcement personnel, and a psychiatrist. While sentencing was initially slated for April 2020, a series of deferments were experienced. Margaret Pratt, who also sustained serious injuries the night her husband was killed, was present at the virtual sentencing hearing on April 14th. My final computation was that Richie Kern, who um, you'll recall in his, state, in his testimony, in his statement, admitted delivering the fatal blow that killed my husband, um, he's been given 14.75, 14 and three quarter years um, in jail. Germaine Jones um, has been given 22 years. Uh, Kervin DeVoe, 19 and three quarter years. And those two are the people who the judge acknowledged were the ones that beat me up. Um, and Fannis Joseph, who was convicted of manslaughter, will serve six and a half years. Though the four men were arrested within days of the murder, they each remained on remand until the matter came to trial six years later in early 2020. If you add on the fact that all of them have been on remand for seven and a quarter years, uh, and in addition, of course, they've, they've all been sentenced for more than a year, the, there was a delay of six years in bringing the case to trial in the first place. I think we're all relieved that uh, we've actually got to a state of a judgment being read. And I'm pleased about that. Like many others who have lost loved ones to violence, Margaret Pratt has spent years waiting for justice for her late husband. But while she can now begin to find some form of closure, she is mindful that there are many St. Lucians who still have to brave the long and difficult journey to justice. I still don't understand why it took six years to come to trial. I think there may be very good reasons, but those good reasons have not been made transparent to you and they haven't been made transparent to me and the people of St. Lucia. And it isn't just about me. It's never just been about me and my husband's case. There are so many people for whom this lack of transparency impacts and they are waiting for judgment and for justice for themselves and for their loved ones. And that's the tragedy for me, that it's taken so long. After the convictions were handed down in February 2020, at least one attorney indicated his intention to file an appeal. We understand that he still intends to pursue this action. For Choice News Now, Amani Mathre reporting.